and here will be our social medias for DDSA Instagram and LinkedIn. You can scan the networking sheet for the to connect with each other among the GDSC target MT. So to begin with the event, allow me to introduce the backbone of GTSC TAR VMT, our core members for the academic year 2023 and 24. These talented individuals are, are the driving force behind all our initiatives, and they have been working tirelessly to ensure the growth and the success of our club. So the first member will be me, which is Kain, uh, me. I'm start currently studying in diploma in IT, but actually I'm having an internship now and I'm actually interested in coffee, C sharp or web developments. And the next member will be Sammy, which is our auditor and advisor of GTSC Tower MT. She's she is currently having a bachelor in data science, is also having six month internship right now. And you can find her LinkedIn by searching her name. Uh but today Sammy is will be absent for our event. So she has uploaded one video. I will play it to everyone. Hello everyone, I'm Sammy, the previous GDSC lead for Thai Uh can everyone hear the video voice up? Thank yeah, you. yeah, can hear. And I'm really happy to see all of you here participating in GDSC's info session. Um, for this term, I won't be doing it anymore because Kain is the current lead and uh, I will be helping to advise him on GDSC events as I will be the advisor. Um, so sorry I couldn't attend the info session physically. Uh, so I will be doing this video for all of you. Uh, in GDSC, we are a community of students. Uh, you know, learning about Google technologies, and I hope you can learn something from our GDSC events and look forward into it. So, in this info session, you can, you know, ask what type of uh, event we will be having, and any questions you can always ask and understand more about our club. And do note that this club is uh, not only in our universities, but it is worldwide. Uh, there is different clubs in different universities and you can also network yourself and I hope Kain will bring more events to GDSC Thai GMT uh, for this new term. See you all around. Bye. Alright. Hello everyone, I'm Sammy. The, the next up will be Kahui. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Ka Hui and I'm studying in the Bachelor of Information Systems. So currently, I'm outside right now. Sorry about that because I'm outside right now. So My interest set is music. I'm the secretary of the GDSC. So thank you, everyone. All right, thank you, Kaohui. So the next one will be Munding. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Munding, and I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Quantity Surveying, Year 3, Semester 1. And I'm having some break right now, and I'm interested in a uh, touchscreen computer only. Okay, thank you. All right, all right, thank you, Bunning. And the next one will be Zhexuan. Hi, everyone, I'm Zhexuan here. So uh, welcome everyone to join our new chapter for this uh, GDSC lead, okay? So actually, GDSC is not in Malaysia, it's uh, happening all around the world. So this is a global cup that everyone can join us over here. So let's join and explore more about technologies and we have a great section for this chapter so if you everyone want to join us please do connect us on linkedin and those social media 
So if you are interested to connect with me, you may connect with me, my LinkedIn over here. I will send in the chat box later. All right, that's it for me. All right, thank you, Zhe Xuan. The next up will be Cheng Yong. Hi, everyone. I'm Cheng Yu from Ta UMP, and I'm currently studying Bachelor in Data Science, and I'm also a year two student. And my interest is always something related to data. So therefore, going through the pathway of data science would be the most suitable for me. And I'm also interested in data analysis and also data warehousing, etc. I'm here today, so I hopefully with the lead of Kain, we are able to bring more quality events to everyone. Thank you. All right, thank you, Tamu. The next up will be William. Hello everyone. Uh, good evening, to everyone. Also, uh, I'm very fortunate to get elected for uh, technical lead for Tadi MD DDC this cohort or this year. Uh, so I'm also studying uh, the same course as Kain, uh, Diploma in Information Technology. Also ongoing for internship lah. So my interests are in quite varies. Also, I'm uh, very interested in full stack web development. I am very good in data science, machine learning, and I'm currently exploring more on natural language processing. Uh. So uh, you can hope we can expect many events from us uh, coming in coming months. Uh, so we will keep in touch. So let's make this uh, make this uh, patch to, to be the best one. Uh. I think that's all for me. Thank you. All right. Thank you, William. The next one will be Kai Sung. Uh, hello, everyone. So my name is uh, Leon Kai Sheng. I'm from uh, Diploma in Information Technology, currently year one, sem one, and in sem break. Uh, I'm sorry that I will be a little bit uh, fast speaking fast because I'm currently uh, not in Malaysia and here is not a very good place to uh, proceed with this information for me. But uh, let me explain. So currently I'm still in year one, sem one, and I'm kind of interested in the web design, uh, especially for the back end side with uh, PHP language and also. Uh, PWA inside the PWA design. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you, Kai Sun. It's so interesting. All right, the next one will be Kai Xian. Uh, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Uh, hi, I'm Kai Xian. I'm in Bachelor's of Software Engineering, Year 1, Sem 3. I'm interested in game development and web development. That's all for me. All right, thank you so much. Next up will be Chat Yen. Hi, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, um, hi everyone. Uh, I'm very happy that I'm given this opportunity to share about myself in this call. Uh, let me introduce myself a bit. Uh, I'm Chat Yen. Uh, I'm a technical team member in GDSC Taiyu MT, and I'm currently enrolled in a uh, bachelor in data science. Uh, currently it's year one, semester two. And because uh, we are in the uh, we are in the same break right now, so we'll be go proceeding to sem three for the next sem. Uh, my main interest is of course uh, data science. I really love to explore a lot of stuff related to uh, statistics and how I can treat data differently compared to what others might look uh, what others might look at it. Uh, of course, I'm really interested in trying to know about something that's. Uh, considered complex and in, uh, intriguing for me, like machine learning and IoT, because they come up with a, a large area on trying to connect everything together so that they can work things up. Yeah, that's all from me. Thank you. All right. The next one will be Ching Yap. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ching Yap. Um, I'm a member of our technical team. So my program is Bachelor in Data Science. Currently, I'm year two, same one. I am in very interested in statistics, data science, financial uh, technology, or also AI. So I think the data is very uh, meaningful. So I really like to explore data. So to extract some pattern, extract some meaning from them. So I think this is very positive impact to our society. So thank you. All right, thank you very much. So now it's an honor to have with us our esteemed guest speaker who have taken the time from their busy schedule to grace our event. So let me in, let traffic introduce. Hello, can you hear me? 
Yeah. All right. Uh, hi, my name is Mohamed Hafik. I am the current GDSC lead for UM. Uh, I am a certified so computer science, and I'm actually first batch in UM doing computer science. Uh, I major in human centered computing, and also I'm pretty interested in game development, uh, modeling, simulation, and pattern recognition. So anything AI, anything. Thing along those lines, I'm pretty interested, uh, and hopefully, I'll be doing that for my FIP as well. So, yeah, but that's about it. Okay. So, next up will be Steady. So, hi, my name is Steady, and I'm from USM. So, I'm taking Bachelor of Computer Science and I'm majoring in Software Engineering. So, as well as my major is, I'm interested in Software Development. So, that's all for me. All right. Thank you, Steady. So, before we delve into the present and the future, it's important to acknowledge our past. Let's take a brief journey into the year 2022 and 2023 to review the remarkable achievement, initiative, and event that GTSC Tarium T of Buck on turn. So we have eight events in total for last, last term. The first time will be the uh, Georgetown bus trip to our Penang branch campus. And the second will be info section, just like today, we'll be having a short section to introduce UDSC to the community. And we'll be having Guitar Hack 2023 Google Solution Challenge event to assist the participant to solve the GSC problem. And we'll be having a few workshops virtually and in campus to teach the community about the Google technologies and the last one will be collab with somewhere to have a machine learning and also GCP compute workshops. So you can see here is some picture of our, our when we are having a workshop physically. So now the GTSC chapter in TARIMG has a unique story and a distinct factor and everyone should encouraged to join our chapter to learn more about Google Technologies. And this is our chapter page at BB Pathlong. You will see our title and name and logo. So why you should join us? You can join us to connect, learn, and grow from with developers from Google Developer Student Cloud. And by the way, connect, learn, and grow is the slogan for GDSC. You can get the latest information for our chapter, upcoming events, so we'll be actually having quite a lot of events for the current term, which will be uh, talked about later. And you can get monthly newsletter from us. And the most important, you can get Google Swags if you answer questions during our physical events. Now, I would like to hand over the stage to Traffic, the lead for GDSC UUM, to discuss why joining GDSC is important. Thank you very much, Karin. Okay, so why do I think GDSC, joining GDSC is important? Uh, I feel that there's five pretty main things that you guys can consider. Uh, number one is definitely to enhance your resume, right? So it makes yourself a lot more marketable to employees down the, down the line uh, because, you know, GDSC is under Google and Google is a really big name. So uh, you would like, you would want to be part of it. Uh, and not only that, because GDSC also deals with a lot of projects um, and a lot of like, real world problem type, type of stuff so like kita hack down the road uh, you guys can do your own community projects and these kind of things is what people or companies are really looking for today uh, so that's one of the things second one is network uh, with industry experts and other google-based networks so not only will you be coming into gdsc uh, alone there are other people as well coming in and people who are like-minded right so you'll be able to meet different people. I met Kain and Stanley during our GTSC Lead Summit. Uh, and these are definitely like, you know, I, I, I can't tell you how much I value these connections because these are, these are the people that want to start uh, making really big plans with and whatnot. And definitely down the road, uh, there'll be bigger people than I'm going to be. Uh, next one is game is access to exclusive resources and events. So, uh, GDSC as well do, does give us um, experts on certain Google technologies, uh, but not only that, all the events that are other like all the other GDSC, GDSC chapters. So let's say if I do a workshop, you guys can come and join. If Kain does a workshop, we can join them. Uh, and it's just that, it's that interconnection between all the GDSC chapters. 
So I think that's really important, especially if you're trying to learn to be a developer, because uh, one university can only pump out so many workshops and info sessions, but all of us combined is going to be one hell of a uh, force to be reckoned with. Uh, force is build projects that make a difference. So again, Kita Hack, we're dealing with SDGs, Sustainable De uh, Development Goals, uh, by the UN. So <laughs> these efforts are really something um, that can make a difference, right? <laughs> so you have people like in Indonesia, GDS Indonesia, um, handling, I think it was like natural disasters. So I think flooding was, and they created an app and everything. So it's really cool to see all these projects come to life from just university students. So, and lastly, uh, it's peer-to-peer -peer learning environment. So again, coming into GDSC, you guys are going to be with like-minded people, people who are interested in technology, people who are interested in Google technology specifically, and you guys can learn off from each other. So if one person's really good at ML, and maybe you're good at web design or either like Flutter, you guys can learn off each other. Maybe you can add, oh, maybe you can add some AI into your app, and maybe they can learn how to make an app themselves from you. So that's why I think GDSC is important, these five main reasons. And you guys should definitely join uh, GDSC, especially if you're from uh, Tag UMT. So yeah, that's all from me. I wish you guys luck. Thank you, Shafiq. Now we have Stanley, the lead for GDSC USM, to share with us what we can gain as a member of GDSC. Now we welcome you, Stanley. Okay, so thank you, Kai. So Stanley here again. Okay, so we can move to uh, move to the next slide. Okay, so what are the benefits in joining GDSC? First, you get to step out of your comfort zone. When you join GDSC, you are taking a leap into the unknown as it really provides you with the unlimited opportunities. So take this opportunity to challenge yourself, try the task that you never attempt before, and grow both professionally and personally. Second, you get to learn about Google Developer Technologies. So as Shafi mentioned, it is really um, GDSC is really providing you the peer-to-peer -peer learning environment. So you can learn together with all these supportive and welcoming community that encourage you to grow as a developer. Next, you also get to develop your soft skills. I will view being a community member at GDSC as, a, as taking a crash course in life essential soft skills, and it really elevate in your communication skills and also other leadership qualities. So next slide. And this brings me to how to maximize your GDSC experience and how you can get most of it. First, I would like to encourage you guys to become a speaker. Let me share a personal experience. I decided to lead a Flutter workshop uh, months back. And in doing so, I learned a new technology besides those that I have to learn in school. So by becoming a speaker, it's really a fast track for you to learn any technical skills as you really need to master the skills first before you teach to others. Second, please consider to take, uh, to take the lead in organizing events as this role will really teach you how to uh, master the art of effective communication, team alignment, and uniting people towards a common goal. In a world where everyone is occupied, occupied by their own commitment, mastering the ability to bring people together is invaluable. Third, make connections. You have likely to hear about the advice uh, uh, to network with others, and it is for a good reason. One interesting fact that I would like to share is that you are the average of the five person that you spend time with. So try to expand your network and clarify your aspirations as it really allows you to learn from those that you really are inspired by. So with that being said, I encourage you to take the leap and embark on this incre uh, incredible journey at GDSC. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Stanley. So returning to the stage, I want to excite you all with upcoming we have, we have light up GDSC Tower MG from its a year filling with learning, growth, and fun. So as you can see, here's our roadmap. Throughout the whole year, we'll be having online workshops each month, at least one online workshop. All right. And the first month we'll be having info sections and online workshops will be so today will be our first info session, which also will be our first online workshop. And the next one, I mean, like in the following days, we'll be having the second workshop in the near future. And same for November, we'll be having uh, online workshops. Now, come to the December, here's an interesting 
workshop that we always do, which is a Georgetown bus trip to Death Fest, Georgetown 2023, or have a bus trip to Death Fest 2023 Kuala Lumpur. So Death Fest Georgetown 2023 registration is currently closed and we can't buy the ticket yet, but soon it will be open and we'll be head heading to Penang, Penang, uh, one of the campus of Penang to listen to people that come from Google or the, from the community, such as Google developer experts to talk about Google technologies, as well as the uh, DevFest 2023 Kuala Lumpur, which will be held in Monash. And I will pass the floor to William, which is our technical lead, to talk more about the upcoming events. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> One moment, let me just... Okay, thank you, Kayin, for uh, passing over to me. So, uh, hi, I'm your technical lead for this uh, this year. So, for upcoming events, actually, uh, we are still in developing for more events right now. But as for now, you can see the roadmaps. Uh, we are currently uh, having a data, data science workshop on December itself. Uh, it's using, uh, using by using Google, so Google Technology, Google Collab. Uh, it will be a serious, uh, it will be a one, uh, one term workshop to discover about uh, data analysis using Python and also some how to do with data visualization and so on with uh with the help of google collab lah. so also with the february uh, timeline we are also having guitar hack uh guitar hack series for our workshop so uh, the first one i will propose uh, i will give right now is uh we are having a simple introduction on web development using angular yeah so we are doing angular workshops on that particular month also lah. so you uh, you can expect the topics from us such as uh in data science machine learning web development also like cloud services like using by using google cloud and also uh many many to go on uh, in in various uh technology uh, in uh, also technologies yeah so uh our main audience is also to teach and also educate everyone to help with them with to learn new technologies also with the help of google uh, also uh, to learn more about uh, my by myself also lah. so i think that's all from me all right so after the kita head closing the retreat we also we have been having physical workshops which is held in Thai UMT campus if you are not from Thai UMT then sorry you have to come to our campus to join the physical workshops uh yeah and august will be our term end so we'll be switching to another team of people to lead the gds with rmd so the next slide a special focus for this year is the google solution challenge 2024 let's delve into this importance and the opportunity it presents and how gds with rmd is going to assist its members in this challenge the google solution challenge has always been at the forefront of finding young minds who are eager to find solutions to the world's most pressing issues. And 2024 is no exception. Every year, the challenges we face as a global community evolve, and so does the nature of the solution we seek. Whether it's climate change, healthcare disparities, or digital divides, the goal remains unchanged to harness the power of technology to create positive change. So as you can see at the slide, the Google Solution Challenge is to aim mission to solve one of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals or known as SDG using Google Technologies. So here you can see if you join the GSC 2024 and you somehow get into the top 100 teams, you'll receive customized mentorship from Google's and expert to take solution to the next level, a branded t-shirt and a certificate. And you, if you are top 10 panelists, you will receive additional mentorship, a swag box, and the opportunity to showcase solution to Googlers and developers all around the world at the demo day live on YouTube. And for the contest finalists, in addition to the swag box, each individual from the additional seven recognized team will receive a cash prize per student, winning for each qualifying team will not exceed 4,000 USD. For the top three winners, additional to the swag box, each individual from the top 10 winning teams will receive a cash prize and a feature on the Google developer board. Winning for each qualifying team will not exceed 12,000 USD. So I will pass the floor to William. 
Uh, so in upcoming years also, we are having also uh, Kita Hack 2024. Uh, Kita Hack is actually a hackathon, like it's a uh, two months hack, uh, long hackathon, like featuring also with talks and events and also like a series of workshops organized by Google Developer Student Club in Malaysia. So uh, it's a very interesting hackathon that everyone can go and attend. Uh, so you can uh, not even you are not from a technolo technology background, you also can do so because it's gathering in between like technology solutions and pitchings and business ideas to solve issues for especially uh, in our sustainable development ground right now. How to cut costs of papers? How do we do healthcare? How do we do? Uh, more on sustain how to sustain our development ground right now how to save uh trees and so on yeah so it will be a very very interesting session for kita head 2024 so anyone interested can be uh they can be waiting to join this uh event very very soon so you can uh, look also look at the website here uh is uh google 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 slash developer slash uh, GDSC dot dot GitHub lah. So maybe Kain can post a link in the chat or yeah, definitely. I will post a link here. Yeah. Add on to the Kita Hack 2023. Uh, in last year, we have been two uh, online workshops to assist GDIC Thai MT participants to uh, solve the, solu the challenges in the GDIC 2023. So, so we, what we're having is uh, I'm the speaker and I'm teaching the participant how to use uh, ASP.NET Core with OF, OF, which is also known as the open ID, but OF is the bare baboon of the old open id and you can learn how to build a fully backend that managed by yourself using as and core without relying on the external api like google firebase authentication or the gcp authentications yeah and the second workshop we're we having for kita 2023 is how to build a front end using angular that also fulfill with the open id uh, criteria so you can log in the user in by using the open id uh, mechanism which actually open id it allows one user to log into multiple website without login multiple time yeah. all right so so now it is uh now it's your turn we would love to address any queries and concern you might have and yeah, you can ask. I will start a Q and A session in the current meeting session. I think you can try to go to the right bar that you're seeing right now. You can have any question. You can ask any question if you want to. We'll be having five minutes for this session. Uh, Kai, is it okay if I just uh, uh ask about it uh vocally instead of just uh, writing questions? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I was wondering about the uh Google Dev Fest that you mentioned just now. On we are either uh, we either choose to go to Georgetown or we are going to Kuala Lumpur, which I think it should be Monash. As you mentioned, uh, have we uh determined on those yet? Yeah, actually, we are still planning for the trip so we are finding a bus provider uh but actually for the monash death fest we will be uh I, actually i recommend everyone go by by yourself but for the gdg penang uh i will be ha having a bus trip by finding a bus provider so you can get up at one point and we can the bus can fetch everyone to penang and also go go back from penang to the point yeah all right, got it, got it, got it. Right. Does anyone have other questions than the death test?
actually today to have a uh, much attendee to attend our event the turnout rate is quite low actually we have 30 participants registered with us so yeah it's kind of awkward yeah so okay let's go to our next section which is our uh, photo sessions i so i would like everyone to open your camera i will set everyone as a uh, presenter mood so you can open your camera I think I've set everyone to present the mood. Yeah. So let me turn off my battery. What do I see? Uh, other people you can uh, I encourage you to open your camera so we can have a photo sessions. Yeah. So the GDS is I will be having uh taking two photos, which is uh first one will be normal one, and the second one will be holding our gang sign, which is this one, the GDS GDS logo. So you'll be having the first photo first. So everyone, uh, you can smile. <laughs> yeah. So one, two, three. All right, all right, thank you. And the second, which is our gang sign. <laughs> yeah. I will not be holding this one. I need to take a photo. <laughs> yeah. So one, uh, one, two, three. All right, right. Thank you so much. You can close your camera now. <laughs> all right. So I want. Uh, moment now. Uh, I share this. Uh... You can see the slide. Right. All right. So there's one slide missing missing from the Google slide, which is our merchandise. You'll be having a merchandise uh selling poster later. Uh, I think in next three weeks. So we will be selling our merchandise, which is our GDSC swags, GDSC our Target MT club shirts, and also stickers. Yeah. So if you are interested in buying Google uh, GDSC merchandise, so you can go to our Instagram page and click on the link and buy it. Yeah. Uh, for the so when you can receive your GDC specs, I think it will be after next year January. So we need to have a uh, need to confirm the order first with the with the with everyone, and we'll send the send the order to the sub providers. So yeah. Uh, so thank you for joining us today. I think today is quite fast. I didn't plan well for the time management, but yeah, thank you, thank you for joining us today. All right. See you next time.